Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to do a quick declutter. Um, I've been buying and trying a lot of makeup lately just in preparation for new content, but I have way too much stuff now. So I need to go through, clean out some stuff, get rid of the stuff I'm not using, donate it to friends. Not donate it to friends, give it away to friends and then whatever I can donate, I'm gonna donate. Um, but let's just kind of sit and chat. I'll kind of talk about the products that I'm getting rid of and why I'm getting rid of them or whatever the case is. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so y'all can basically see I've got clutter of like all this stuff. Let me move my little incense thing out the way. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna start by attacking the pile, I don't know. <laughs> Do y'all have anxiety whenever stuff starts to pile up and you just don't know really where to begin? Um, that's me currently. So let's just jump in. So these are the Fenty Pressed Powder Foundations. I really like these actually. Um, this is shade 430, which would be like my foundation shade. This one is 370. I bought this for um, like my under eye highlight color. And then I got 410 when I first bought it. Um, just thinking that that would be closer to my shade. I think I got it like winter time whenever it came out or whenever that was, but um, yeah, I find that I don't have a ton of use for this color, but I'm learning different like techniques for coverage and things. So um, I, I could incorporate it somehow, I think, but ultimately I don't know that I need it. I may give this away to my friend. She could use it as a bronzer. So um, I like the formula, I like the product. I think it's nice. It's a nice buildable um, coverage. It feels very lightweight on the face. It's not cakey at all. So I really enjoy these, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of 410 out of this shade. Yep. Okay, cool. Putting this to the side. And then we'll put these over here, these two for keeps. Okay. So I actually bought this little mini palette as a gift, but then I ended up, well, it was for my mom actually. I ended up getting her something else, I think, but um, I kept the palette. I like Juvia's Place eyeshadows. They're all right to me, to be real with y'all. Um, I do enjoy the brand. I love the packaging. I think it's all very stunning and, you know, it's black owned and we love that over here. Um, but honestly, I could go either way on the eyeshadows for real, for real. Um, the formula is hit or miss for me, if I'm being frank with y'all. So I think I'll actually give this one away too. Um, I don't know that I could donate these since it's kind of been used and open, but if you sanitize your products with a little bit of alcohol, I don't know if y'all know that, they should be fine and good to go. So I'm probably going to give this one away as well. Um, well, we started off black owned thus far. That's nice. Okay, going back to Fenty. So this powder, um, I hadn't picked it up for a while, but I've been watching um, Harouche. Um, I think you guys probably know her or recognize her. She's formerly one of the Kardashians makeup artists. She beats down, down. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a series on my channel, something fun that I thought it could be. Um, I'm going to go in and study different makeup artist channels and then kind of take away whatever it is that I've learned and kind of do like a makeup class based on what I learned from their channels, basically. So my thought process is I'm going to do that. She uses this a lot to blend out the harsh lines in between like a highlight and a contour or a bronzer. It brings everything into the face and it's typically used as like a blotting powder. So if you get shiny during the day or whatever the case is, you could go ahead and go in with this in a little brush and just kind of touch up your face. But now that I know that new use for it, I'm definitely keeping this. I'm definitely going to get another one. It's a colorless powder, so it doesn't matter. Um, your complexion it's not going to show up ashy if you take pictures or in person or anything it's just a translucent powder really finely milled i've already hit pan on it as you guys can see but can y'all see that Boop. am i in focus don't think so sorry i'm working on my phone but yeah it's very finely milled it's very um soft so yeah it's a great powder definitely recommend this definitely keeping that moving on I just got this, this is the setting powder, and let me go ahead and grab all of my Fenty powders. We black owned today, I'm happy with this. Look at me, <laughs> look at me. All right, so the setting powders, Fenty Beauty. 
I like these, I do. Um, do I think it's like the best setting powder of all time? I don't know. I like buying black owned brands when I can. So if I find something that works for me, then that's what I'm gonna use. Um, but I really do enjoy these. I have a couple of shades. This is Honey. Um, let me just go ahead and open it so you guys can see. Really, really good for brightening. It's more of like a yellow based. So that's Honey. Um, I also have Hazelnut. This is a bit deeper. Also good for brightening, setting all over. These are really finely milled powders as well. Really soft, really buttery, stunning. Just a wee bit messy. Y'all see that dust? Woo, a little dusty. And then I also got Nutmeg. And I know I just mentioned um, doing that study on like Harusha's channel. This is a mini, um, so this is what the color looks like. But what she does, which makes so much sense to me, she mixes her setting powders depending on where she's setting on the face. So say you highlight under your eyes, your setting powder should match whatever highlight or concealer you used under your eyes. Or if you're setting a different part of the face, like a jawline or your forehead or whatever the case is, she mixes her powders to get custom colors, which is brilliant, right? Doesn't that make so much sense? So I'm gonna be trying that out. So I got a couple of different shades of powders to work with to kind of get custom um, setting shades. But yeah, um, I like the Fenty powders. I think they're great. Um, yeah, I'm keeping these black owned. All right, keeping those, let me dig a little deeper. Y'all see how messy all this is? Good Lord. Okay, these are next. Okay, so most of these are KKW. Go ahead and drag me. Y'all probably are gonna really read me for this, but I kind of like Kim. I know she's like <laughs> problematic and probably one of the most problematic out of the Kardashians. I get it, but um, she's interesting to me. I don't know. I have a few of her things from um, KKW Beauty, um, particularly these lipsticks. These are her um, her nudes. So this is one shade. I don't know if I'm picking this up well. Yeah, so here's one. Am I out of focus? This is nude three. This one. Uh, okay, there we go. This one is 90s style. And then this is like a red. So this is candy apple red. And this is more of like a glossy finish red. I love a red lipstick. Sorry, it's so messy. But um, honestly, I do like these shades. They're kind of old though. I think I might keep the red out of all of them. But these two, I can't really wear on my own or on their own, I should say. Even with the liner, they're just really pasty on me. I usually use these to kind of go in and create like an ombre effect with the lip. So I'll kind of tap these in the center of the lip and then do a darker color around, a darker color around, and then my lip liner. So it's nice for a gradient, but um, I don't really need them. And I have black owned shades now that I can kind of do the same thing with. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these. I won't give these away. I'll probably just toss them, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Moving on. We have a Becca lipstick. This is one of the Lush Lip uh, Color Balms. Y'all know Becca's going out of business, child, so. <laughs> if you wanna get some products, head over to your local TJ Maxx or I think even Sephora, Ulta, like all the big retailers. I know Beautylish as well. You can get a lot of the stuff discounted um, pretty heavily, but I think we'll see them, Marshalls, TJ Maxx or wherever, so I wouldn't rush to get stuff if you feel like you're running out of time. I, I wouldn't feel that way at all. You'll be able to get it for years to come at your local Marshalls, DJ Maxx, wherever, you know, it'll be there. Um, but it's just nice. It's like a um, a balmy sort of texture. It's much more creamy and shiny. It's a really pretty color. I actually got this on a trip with my fiance when we went to Philly. Oh. Yeah, there's a memory with this lipstick. Yeah, we were in Philly and we went shopping. Um, I can't remember the street, but it's like where a bunch of the shops are. And yeah, I went into Sephora or wherever and just picked up one of these. They're okay, I liked it. Um, I used it a lot whenever I was working a lot in person back whatever that was a thing. Um, but it's, it's pretty old. <laughs> I'ma let her go. 
I'm gonna let it go. So I'm gonna toss that. Next up, Beauty Blender, of course. Critical, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so this is from Benefit, the Hula Bronzer. Y'all remember, oop, my bad y'all. Do y'all remember when they came out with darker shades of the bronzer? And I was excited because for years, I had never been able to try it because it was like for white people. <laughs> and honestly, in my opinion, it's not a bad bronzer, but I don't think it's deep enough for me at all. So they could do better. They could stand and come out with a few more, but I don't think they really care to do so. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's a weird thing because like I get excited when brands decide to expand their lines, especially if it's like a hype product or something that people have talked about for years. But when they do it like this, and I think Physicians Formula did a similar thing where they put out deeper shades and they weren't really deep enough. It's like, y'all could have kept it. I don't, I don't need to buy from brands who don't accommodate me. I'm kind of beyond that. So I'm gonna give this away. Yeah, I'm gonna pass that on. Oh, I'm doing my piles wrong. So these should be over here. All right. Next up, Morphe. This is the Brontour. So this has a bronzer contour shade and then there's like a highlighter in here as well. Um, I like this a lot. I'm not even gonna hold you. They used to sell this shade at Ulta, but they don't carry it in the store anymore. I don't know why. It's one of the deeper shades. It's a really good, affordable compact. The highlighter is stunning. I love it, love it, love it. The bronzer is also stunning. It's much more subtle than my typical bronzer would be. Um, but I really like this. Um, I don't really use it all that often these days. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna pass it on to someone else. But um, if y'all can find it, definitely go grab it. Um, I think I got this one at TJ Maxx actually. Um, so you don't even necessarily need to go to Ulta or Morphe or wherever. Go to TJ Maxx, hit up Marshall's. Um, what's the other one? I feel like I'm forgetting one but they definitely have a lot of overstock of these products that they're getting rid of and discontinuing. So I'm gonna give it away, but Asha approved. I bucks with it. Next up, um, I got this soap brow thing from Makeup Revolution. Um, let me say this, I like their base and complexion products a lot. Everything else I've found from the brand is not great I don't like their eyeshadows I don't like um, a lot of their other formulas um, they're kind of whack to me um, I've played with this a couple of times and it's really like a glorified like oil really to kind of put your brows in place you know the soap brow effect where it makes your hair stand up and look real like plastered to your forehead or whatever the case is I don't feel like this does that it just makes my brows look oily so I'm definitely gonna give this away um, yeah I'm gonna pass this on Okay, next up. So I just got these and I know I mentioned Harouche already. So she uses these foundations. I haven't played with them yet, but I'm so excited. They look stunning. I got two colors and these aren't that expensive, you guys. Um, as far as like good full coverage foundations go, this is a cream formula. The trick is apparently when you use the RCMA, you have to get a little bit of moisturizer on your brush and then you pick it up and then that kind of determines the coverage but if you want to go fuller coverage use less moisturizer um but i'm really excited to play with these i'm super excited because they look gorgeous on camera so definitely keeping these moving on all right so this is a mini charlotte tilbury uh press powder and when i say mini y'all <laughs> It's so many. I feel like this cost me like $25 too for this size, which is like obscene, really. I should have taken it back, but it's okay for a setting powder. I don't feel like it really matches me. It makes me look kind of gray, a little ashy, a little ash ash. Um, I don't know who it's supposed to set. Um, it's not really that deep in my opinion, um, but it's a nice powder. People really, really like this formula. I wouldn't know because whenever I put it on, I look a mess. So. Definitely gonna pass this on, for sure. <laughs> Next up, I have this stick, highlighter stick from Glossy A. I really do like this. I just haven't picked it up in a while. I need to play with it some more, but um, 
whenever I do my nose highlight, I always do like a stick highlight like this underneath and then I go on top with my powder and that's what makes it really pop. So I really like this. It's really nice on the face. It's like a balm sort of formula. I can go ahead and swatch it if y'all are curious. Um, we'll do that. But it's really stunning. And you can tap this like on your forehead, on the cheeks, whatever the case is, but um, it's very, very pretty. It's a much deeper highlight, but it looks so natural. See, I can blend it out and don't even look like it's there. Um, and this is in the shade Topaz. Um, I haven't bought from Glossy in a while, but like I like the brand, so I'm gonna keep it. Next up, I have another Glossier item. This is the Cloud Paint. This is one of their like, uh, you know, cult favorites. Everyone in the brand or everyone who likes the brand knows about this. Um, it's a liquid blush. You can use this on your eyes, on your cheeks, wherever. I like it. It's just pretty old. I'm gonna go ahead and see what it's looking like. This is in the shade Dawn, by the way. You see that? It's very orange, but if you blend it out, it makes a really pretty color. Oh gosh. Oof! I might keep that child. I don't know. It's still pretty. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it. Would recommend. These are stunning. Look at that. Yum. Okay. This is an old Morphe lipstick. Blah, 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 blah. An old Morphe lipstick I used to use. This is a shade Confess. When I tell y'all I wore this shade every single day religiously going into work for about like a year and a half. This was like my go-to lipstick. It's a very nice, like very neutral, natural brown. It's perfect nude um, for brown girls for sure. Um, Morphe Confess. I like it. I just don't really wear it anymore. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna pass this on. Another booty blender, keeping that. All right, so next up I have these Milani blushes. So these are the cream formulas I've been kind of testing out and playing with. Um, I do really like the formula. It's really good for um, a really nice natural sort of cheek flush. Um, it's more of a balm. It's kind of a wet sort of texture whenever you apply it. Whenever you blend it out, it looks so natural and like dewy on the skin. I really enjoy it. Um, I got both of these shades, but I think I prefer this brighter sort of coral one as opposed to this one. So I think I'm gonna give this one away, but I would recommend these. These are fire, fire. Let me wipe off my hands. They're getting like real, yeah. So I almost died choking on coffee. <laughs> I almost didn't make it just now, y'all. Wow. <clears throat> Let me recover. <laughs> All right. So I'm back, kind of. I have these two minis. Um, I think this was a part of like a Sephora sample that I got. And then this was with a Beautylish order that I got. So this is um, Kevin Aquan. It's just like a lip glass um, thing. As you can see, it's kind of very, um, kind of very, it's kind of iridescent. It's really pretty on the lips. I just wouldn't ever, I can't think of a scenario where I want an iridescent lip to be real with y'all. It's just not really my style. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass it on. Passing. And then this, um, this is the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. This is in Guernsey. I think that's how you say that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Guernsey, this is the shade. I think it's a little deep for me, to be real, as you can tell, like, looking at it in my hands. It's just not the really the right color, but, um, <clears throat> I actually did wear this for a day. Um, it was okay. I think I might send this to Mia. Yeah, she might wear it. I might be closer to her. But, um, yeah, it was okay. It's very light coverage. Um, it feels good on the skin. It doesn't really crease on me or anything. Um, it's like a dewy finish. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just didn't really like the color. So I'm going to pass this on. Mia, let me know if you want it. <coughs> wow, I'm still dying. Okay, so I've talked about this recently. This is the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation Powder. Um, this is the 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Mine is in the shade uh, Copper. 
365 if you're curious i really really do like this um it's really pretty drugstore affordable good powder a lot of people think it's a dupe for this fenty one i don't know i couldn't really say i'd have to look at the ingredients list and kind of see yeah the ingredients are on this one but um i'm sure they're similar i'm sure they're very comparable um i get similar results whenever i wear them and use them um so i like this a lot and i'm gonna keep it yeah we're getting somewhere all right so this is like a lip sharpener i got from nude sticks i think but i don't really use my nude sticks like that so i might get rid of this one i don't know if i need it and then this is my glue for my um individual lashes this is the glue that's like the special one to make sure it stays in place for more than a day so um i like it it's okay gosh sorry y'all I like it it's all right i think that if you want to get like a really good extension um adhesive go on amazon um they've got way better than the ardell one but i'm gonna keep it because that's what i've got and i'm gonna use it all right next up fenty beauty bronzer i have this in mocha mommy i think i've used this in a couple videos at this point it's pretty beat up i like it it's a much warmer bronzer so keep that in mind and while I like it, I feel as though whenever I get bronzers for dark skin or deeper skin, it's really, really warm. And I feel like whenever I watch other people's like YouTube channels and review like bronzers and things, you know, white girls got all the options. You can get a cool toned one, you can get a neutral bronzer, a natural bronzer. The industry hasn't caught up yet, so we need different options for deeper bronzers. Because we like bronzer too, y'all. Everybody needs bronzer, so... I like it. Mocha Mommy is the shade that I use. Like I said, it's a much more warmer shade. Very pretty. I'm not flicking y'all off. I'm just showing. It's pretty on the skin. Good coverage. When it blends out, it looks really nice, but it definitely adds a lot of warmth. So yeah, bronzer. Keeping. All right, next up, my Fenty Snap Shadows. Okay, so I have one and three. So I got two. I think they have a deal where if you get two, you can get them both for like $25 or something like that. And you can snap it together. Let me see if I can take it apart to show y'all what I mean. So this is actually two different palettes. So two palettes. This one is number one. These are the shades on the back. And then if you pop it open, here are the mini shades. And then same thing. Um... This is number three. It's a much warmer one. So one is true neutrals and this is deep neutrals. And then these are the shades. I do like these shadows, but they're not my favorite formula for eyeshadows in the game by far. It's, it's not even a question to be real with y'all. They're okay. <laughs> very, very okay. Um, I do like the compactness of this. I like that I can snap these two together and then I have, you know, virtually 12 shadows available to me at any given time. You know, like that's a nice, woo. that's a nice feature for sure. But um, yeah, I think I'll keep them because I don't really play with them that often. So I'll revisit this at the next time I want to kind of go through and declutter. But yeah, they're okay. I like them. They work, but they're not the most pigmented. You definitely have to build up. Um, you know, they're okay, but I'm gonna keep it. <clears throat> All right, next up. This is a bronzer from Winky Lux. So this is what I was kind of talking about with my complaints of like multiple varying shades for bronzers. This one I feel is less warm than that Fenty one and that's what I enjoy. My beef with this, however, and this is the, the shade, as you can see, it's a lot more neutral than that one. It's a little bit deeper as well. My beef with this, y'all, is the smell. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like a, a chalk kind of quality to it. I don't know. I love the shade. I love how it feels, but like, do y'all know when you buy like cheaper powders, they have like a different scent to it? That's what it's giving, but I keep it because I like the shade. Off the strength of the shade, it's worth it. Um, 
this is drugstore as well. Um, it's not the most affordable in drugstore by far. You could definitely consider this like a prestige price range. Um, this one goes for about 20, I want to say I paid for that bronzer. But I like it. I do like it. I just hate the smell. I hate it. So definitely enjoy it. This is espresso. Um, so I'm gonna keep next up, Danessa Myricks, another black owned brand. Woo! Okay. So Danessa is an amazing, incredible makeup artist. Like, absolutely. My God. I pray, I pray in this lifetime that she will beat my face. I'm putting that into the universe. Universe, I want Janessa Myricks to do my makeup. Okay, moving on. So this is the um, cream bronzer that she has. I haven't used this in a while. It's really deep. Um, it's like a really nice cream. It blends out beautifully. Very, very pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. You do not need a lot of this. Um, I do find that using this for a nose contour is way too deep. Um, <clears throat> it ends up looking kind of bruised on my nose, but I do enjoy the product. I just really don't pick it up as much, um, to be real with y'all. I love a lot of things from her brand. Um, her balm highlighters, it's kind of like, it's called wet something. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. I would like to get another one of these, but uh, one of those I should say, but I think for this, I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. I don't really use it that often, so I'm going to move it on, but I like it. All right, we're making some progress. You know, we cleared this out. I need to clean this out as well. Y'all can see all the little shavings and things. It's not cute. So this is an essence powder. So talk about affordable, affordable, and it's broken. <laughs> But um, I really, really, really like this. The problem is I don't know where they sell it, to be all the way real with y'all. Um, I use this as a brightening powder after I set, whenever I go through and kind of touch up my face after I've done like bronzer and like all that other stuff, blush, whatever the case is. This is really pretty under the eyes, really pretty on the forehead. I know it looks bright, but like on deeper skin tones, it shows up gorgeous. It doesn't look ashy. And it just adds just enough. And you see how that blended out into like nothing. It, it melts into the skin. It looks wonderful. Um, I do know that Ulta still carries this in a yellow shade. I have not tried that. Um, I prefer the peach because I just feel like it complements my, underto my undertones um, way more. If y'all can find it, definitely pick it up. These are super, super affordable. I highly recommend. Great, 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 great brightening powder. Okay, next up. Moving to Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. Um, I broke mine, as y'all can see. Oh, it's so soft though, but um, I can go ahead and actually swatch this since I've got it out. It's so pretty, you guys. And look at this packing, it doesn't, oh my God. Just makes you feel like a bad bitch, you know? <laughs> It's very like old Hollywood, super glamorous. That's what I love about her brand and all her stuff. Um, you just feel, you know, wealthy <laughs> when you use it. So that's really pretty on the skin. I know it probably looks light when I initially swatched it, but um, I think this is pretty much universal. Um, it's a really pretty highlighter. This is my go-to that I use. Um, I enjoy it. I think it's limited edition though, so it, I don't know how much longer um, she'll keep it around. I know that it's not on the Sephora or Beautylish websites. I think you have to go straight to Charlotte's website to actually pick it up now, but um, I, I do highly recommend. I enjoy this a lot. Next up, I have her bronzer. So this is also stunning packaging, amazing. Um, this one is in deep. Here's the thing. This is the shade, and let me go ahead and swatch it. So this is another example. Um, this is the shade here, and I'm going to line that up with my other bronzers. It's a bit deeper than the Winky Lux. As you can see, they're very close, but um, it's just a bit deeper. I feel like, though, whenever I use this, it has sort of like a, a bruise sort of effect on me. I don't know. I think I need to play with it a bit more. Perhaps I could use this more of a contour shade as opposed to a bronzer, because I feel like that's not what it gives whenever I use it. It's, it's a bit too deep for me to be a true bronzer, but um, I really do like it. It's stunning. Like I said, her products are just fantastic across the board and this packaging is to die for. <laughs> Gagging, you know? 
but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try it some more. If it doesn't work for me, I'm definitely gonna pass it on because, you know, somebody could use it for sure. Moving on. Okay, so I basically cleared this out. This is just my sharpener, a little elf sharpener. And then this should be over here with my brushes. This is an old lip balm. I got this because I was out of lip balm. It, it's not that good. But yeah, I think this is from Walgreens. Okay, <clears throat> so we've made it through at least all of these. So I think we've made some good progress. Um, I hope y'all are enjoying this in some capacity. I've been choking, so you know. <laughs> like the damn video. I choked for this, guys, I choked. Ahead. <laughs> All right, next up, I got my lipsticks. And I'm excited because looking at this, these are mostly black owned. So I have a bunch of the Juvia's Place lipsticks. I'm so excited because they didn't have these at Ulta in store for the longest, but they finally do. There's a bunch of shades available, a bunch of nudes available. So these two, this is Lady. Can y'all see that? That's Lady in the setting also. Look at that, sexy. This one is Libra. And then I also have Toffee, which is a bit deeper, but really pretty lipsticks, really creamy formula. These are matte shades as well. Um, they don't dry on the lips. They're very, very, very pretty. And then here's the In Vogue as well. It's like a peachy sort of shade. Definitely keeping these highly recommend. Um, I love them. I want to try out her um, her red ones as well. She has like a series of like berries and reds in her line too. So um, definitely like these. Would recommend. Go get them. Next up, another black owned brand that I love. Beauty Bakery, yes. Um, these are the lipsticks, they're mini lipsticks. I don't hear a lot of people talking about these, but these are fire. And the shades are amazing. Like, I love, 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 love her mini lipsticks. I wish they came in bigger sizes, but in all actuality, I don't really use lipstick to the capacity where I would need full-size lipsticks for everything, so it, it, it kind of works. <coughs> you don't really need a full-size, but... <coughs> This one is one of my favorite shades. This is Cinnamon Churro. Super pretty, like burnt red. Or burnt, uh, burnt orange, I should say. This one is Funnel Cake. This is Cinnamon Churro. Funnel Cake, so lighter peachy sort of shade. But do you see how like perfect that would be on brown skin? Like these were so thoughtful, so thoughtful. Um, this is Peanut Butter Luster, another gorgeous, gorgeous brown, um, really pretty shade on brown skin. Like, look at that. Amazing. I don't even know if the light's really picking that up properly, but I don't really ever see these shades together in a range. You know what I'm saying? Not that look good on my, not ones that look good on my skin. Um, this is Bastani Ice. This is a lighter sort of peachy nude. None of these read ashy on me. Um, really creamy, matte finish, long lasting, everything. I, I have no complaints. And then this is Sunday, or excuse me, sorbet on a Sunday. And this is like your fire um, flamingo sort of pink red. I don't know if it's picking up properly on camera, but they're amazing. <clears throat> Absolutely love them. Definitely keeping without question, would recommend. And these are affordable too. These are like $10 a piece. So um, really good pricing, really good shades. Um, definitely go pick these up if you can. I know a lot of people think that MAC has fallen off. I don't, it's gonna be a forever brand for me. Um, growing up, my mom always used MAC products. That was like the only place I saw her pick up stuff. Everything was always of quality. They always had shades that actually matched her. Um, going into the drugstore as a kid was always like a struggle. <laughs> I would walk up and down the makeup aisles looking for something that would actually match me or look okay, but that was basically non-existent at that point in time, which is wild to think that I've seen that sort of shift over this time. But MAC is a forever brand for me, for Black women. I think y'all can relate. You know, it, it's just, it is what it is. It's That's it, period, you know? So MAC is never canceled. I have a couple of minis. 
My favorite red on the planet is Ruby Woo by MAC. This is a mini of it. I also think I have a full size of it, so I don't really need both. Um, I think I had the mini and then I went ahead and got the, the full size, but this is a matte finish. <clears throat> um, I have the Ruby Woo pencil as well, I believe. Brick is also an amazing red by MAC. Um, you can't ever go wrong. Um, I like blue reds whenever I wear them. Um, I can do like a, a orange based red as well, but I feel like to get that actual like oomph for the red lipstick, I like a blue based red lip. So Ruby Woo is definitely that shade for me, for sure, period. Never getting rid of it, <laughs> never ever. This is Mocha. Um, I got this as a mini, I think. And um, to be real with y'all, I don't really use it. It's an okay shade. Whenever I put it on, I felt like it didn't really suit me the best. I might have to go back in and kind of play with it a bit. I don't really like giving away lip products because I just don't know how sanitary that is, to be real. I know you could probably like cut it off or whatever the case is, but I don't like giving it. Moving on. Um, I've got a shade from Nude Sticks. So these are for lips and cheeks. To be honest with y'all, these multi-purpose products like this, I think they're good ideas, but then whenever I get it, I don't actually use them as intended. Like I don't, I don't ever really do that. You know what I mean? I'm not really nifty like that. I like to have one thing for each thing, <laughs> which is extra. But this is a lip shade. It's a kind of deeper berry, um, brown based berry. It's okay. I don't mind it. I think I'll let it go though, for sure. I don't need it. Um, I got this a while ago too. This is like a um, another like lip product. It's like a deeper brown sort of shade. It's very deep. Um, I might keep it just off the strength that I don't have other browns like this, but I really don't wear it like that. I don't really wear deep browns like that anymore either. Um, even in the winter time, like I don't really go or gravitate towards these, but who knows? It's a new year. I might try it. Who knows? <laughs> so I'll keep it. I also have this ColourPop So Juicy Gloss. All of their So Juicy Glosses are fire. If you haven't tried them, go get it. it it's really affordable. Um, they have a ton of shades to choose from. Um, what I've been doing too, um, I have, this is an old uh, Fenty Gloss, <laughs> the Gloss Bomb. I would, it, whenever I would finish the Gloss Bomb, I would just squeeze these into here. So I have a, a cute container or whatever the case is, but this formula is great. I think it's got some plumping properties or whatever the case is, but they're really moisturizing. I find that um, they last for a decent amount of time. Um, yeah, really comfortable, really slick. Um, they're popping. Lips be busting. So I also have, let me grab the rest of them actually. I've got a couple of the Fenty lipsticks. Um, I don't know what they're doing over there with these. These are all on sale. Um, I don't know which shades are still available, but these were originally like 20 bucks a piece. You can get them now for like $7, you guys. So if you want to go look on Fenty Beauty or Sephora, or um, I don't know where else you can get Fenty besides those two places. I think Bergdorf, um, Norman, but like that's for the Brits. But um, these are all on sale now. I'm not sure if they're going to do a new lip line or what the intention is, but I enjoyed these. I did find that they would kind of break kind of easily, so I felt like that was sort of a misstep, but I have a couple of the shades. This one is thick. I think I got this one recently because it was on sale, and that's the shade right there. Sort of a mauve pink, really pretty. Next up, I have... Uh, sh 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 Ballerina Blackout. This is kind of like a, a hot pink shade. I'm excited to play with that. I also have Flamingo Acid. Really pretty purple. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't even think it's reading that well, but it's really sort of a brighter color as well. I also have um, bloop, 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 bloop. Freckle Fiesta. This is a super pretty orange. I used to wear this to death, as you can see. It's kind of beat up now. I don't even know if I'm holding the right spot, guys. Yeah, it's kind of beat up now, but I, I really like this orange. It's super pretty. Look at that. Yeah. Amaze. Yeah. Definitely keeping that. 
And then I have Single. Her red shade I like a lot as well. Um, this is more of like a peach nude. So I'll pick that up. Yeah, kind of an orange peachy nude. So good formula. I like them a lot. They they do tend to break, but um, yeah, they're on sale, you guys. So if you want to go grab them, or if there's any shade that you want to try or look at, I think they only have sort of like the purples and greens and blues, like the obscure colors left. Or I shouldn't say obscure, but you know, like the non-traditional colors left. But I do like this formula. I do enjoy it. I just don't know what they're doing with them or if they're discontinuing them or whatever the case is. But highly recommend. Also black owned. You know how we do over her. All right. So I think that's all of my lip stuff. Yeah, we did that. We did that. Okay. Next up, let's go through some palettes. All right. Let's do it. So first up, I have the Urban Decay Stone palette. Um, these are on sale now too. I wish I had waited because they suck. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. I can't even explain it to you guys. Whenever I tried to apply this, I had to end up using my fingers because it's impossible to pick up and get pigment on the brush and put it on your eye. It's just, it's too difficult, way too difficult. Um, the shades are pretty, but it, it's definitely like a trendy kind of palette. They're really soft, they're really pretty. I'm sure you could use these as like gorgeous highlights, like different, um, they're very pretty shades. I just, I, I got so frustrated trying to work with this. So I'm definitely giving this away. It's on sale now, I, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Period, I don't recommend it. Um, it does work if you just use your finger and then apply straight to the eye, kind of like how I pick the pigment up like that. You can kind of see that, see that on my fingers, but really hard to work with. I, I don't recommend it, giving this away. Next up, I have this Morphe Contour Face Palette. Um, I was excited when I saw this because there's not a lot of palettes like this for deeper girls. So whenever I see one, I try and go grab it. Um, so I think I'm going to give this away as well. I don't dislike it. I just feel like I have better shades to do all of this stuff. This isn't my favorite blush. Um, neither of these are. The highlighters are all right. Let me see if I have a empty finger. Very gold. Um, and then this is like super pinky. I don't dislike the palette at all. The brightener and um, bronzer shades are okay. I definitely can only use this bronzer, not this one. And then the contour is pretty deep, um, to be real with y'all. The brightener is not the best. I feel like it's not really bright enough for me. Um, but yeah, this is a good affordable palette. I think this is like $15. This is another one that I think they had in store at Ulta, but then they got rid of the deeper shade, which I wish they would stop doing that. Like, I'm so tired. <laughs> Black girls buy makeup too, y'all. Like, let's, let's quit. So I'm gonna give this away. So this is a newbie for me. I've kind of featured this a um, little bit in my last video. I really like this palette. I think I kind of talked about it for a minute in that video, but whenever I was looking for just like a straight up like neutral palette, all matte neutral palette. This is definitely multi-purpose as well. Um, I want to challenge people to like think about their makeup a bit differently. Whenever you buy palettes like these, these are definitely multi-use. This could be setting shades under your eye, like these up here. These are brow colors out down here. This is contour colors. These are contour colors. These are bronzer shades. So whenever you get palettes like these, make the best out of them. You don't necessarily need to get like a ton of things. And I know that I kind of said this earlier so I'm contradicting myself a bit but it's good to have something like this where you can go with it and be like okay I have effectively all that I need I can do an eye look I can contour I can highlight I can do my brows all with one palette all with one palette I like it it's a good formula I don't really have anything else from Dominique Cosmetics um but I enjoy this thus far so I'm gonna keep it all right next up <clears throat> So I deserve a thorough dragging for picking this up. Um, this is the volume two. <laughs> I was just starting back into makeup like six, seven months ago and I just really wanted to pick up an eyeshadow palette. Um, nothing else really looked that great to me so I grabbed this and I, I shouldn't have. I, I don't really need to support Jaclyn Hill, honestly. She's, she's done enough. 
she's done enough. Um, this is the volume two. I let my son kind of play in the, the colors the other day, but now I have black on the carpet, so that's bad. But yeah, um, it's pretty, it's fine. I don't really wear a ton of like um, orangey shades anymore. I think that's why I picked it up as well. It's kind of like a quintessential like 2016 through 2018 <laughs> eyeshadow palette, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't really gravitate towards these shades anymore, so I'm definitely going to give it away. It's okay. I did have the OG Jaclyn palette when it first came out. I got it, like, first release. It was hard to buy, but you know. So this is a new palette for me. I haven't tried it out yet, so I'm definitely keeping it, but I wanted to get some different shades. I've never really played with different sorts of um, shades of green, so I've been really excited to kind of venture out a bit and, like, you know play around a little bit more. Um, pastels are definitely in right now. So um, I want to kind of play and try and try my hand at some different eye looks. So I'm going to give this one a go and see how it goes. Um, if I don't like it, I'm going to just give it away because it's, it's not that deep. But yeah, Morphe Palette 35S Sweet Oasis. I think it's kind of new. All right, so that's it for palettes. Is it? No, it's not. Um, I also have this one. It's new Rare Beauty. It's very pretty, but I'm going to be real with y'all. It looked prettier online. <laughs> I haven't played with this too much. This is like pure glitter right here, which is really stunning. But um, yeah, I like it. Um, I'm going to play with it a bit more. Um, I think it's a really good neutral like go-to palette. I think it's got some good shades to kind of dress up or down. I could probably do like a bunch of eye looks with this, but um, the question is, am I gonna really gravitate towards it? That's why I haven't figured out just yet. This is a reminder. You are rare. Yes, you are. Um, but yeah, I like it thus far, so I'm gonna play with it some more. And I lied again. I have one more palette. <laughs> I have the Omrizi um, palette. I like her. I'm probably gonna get dragged for this as well, but. This is an Anastasia palette. This is the Amorizi palette. I think it's still available, but whew. oh my God. As you can see, I've played with it quite a bit. My barb shade has like died. Look at that. But it's a really pretty palette, you guys. You can do a lot of different looks, a lot of different variations on looks. The formula's good. Um, if you don't know, I think they've had like a long standing relationship. Um, Anastasia, um, Norbina, and Amra. I think they're all. Um, Armenian too so they've got that you know bond. I like the palette I like Amrizi um her makeup's fire I followed her for years um she just seems like a cool chick and I really enjoy the palette yeah I'm gonna keep it oh my god I have like way too much stuff y'all I'm getting tired we've been here for a minute uh next up I've got like pencils and and things um, yeah. What else is back here? Before we go through the pencils, let's do this. So I've got a couple of compacts. These are all MAC compacts that I've got right here. This is a face powder. This is the um, mineralized skin finish. I've used this like my entire life. <laughs> Ever since I've been wearing makeup, this is like one of the products that I've had. Like I said, MAC has been like a staple for me and my family forever. Um, whenever I got my makeup done for prom, I went to MAC. Um, cute story. I was so excited. My auntie took pay for it. Um, <laughs> if she's watching, hi auntie. But um, yeah, this is the powder in dark deep mineralized skin finish. Um, really good lightweight powder. It's not really used for setting or anything like that. I just go in with this to add color back into the, into the face really like it gonna keep it this is another og product from mac that i've used forever and ever since high school <laughs> gold deposit so i broke mine all of these usually have like a spherical sort of top but as you can see i shattered mine but this has been like my go-to highlighter for ever it's so pretty you know I think I'm just gonna keep it for the strength of like nostalgia, but yeah. I, I don't really pick it up as often to be real with y'all, but yeah. You know what, that's what this is about. Does this spark joy? 
Does this spark joy? Um, it does, but I think I could pass it on. I, I definitely could pass this on. I don't pick it up. So I'm gonna give it away. I love you. OG, classic shade. If you're a brown girl, especially a deeper skin brown girl, gold deposit is your best friend. This looks amazing on the body as well. If you wanna do like a, a collarbone or shoulder highlight or something like that, go for this. Okay, so next up, this is the Studio Fix Press Powder. This is a true powder foundation. Um, I've used this forever as well. This is another staple product from MAC that I've never, ever let go. <laughs> I've dug into this quite a bit. Um, it's all bright. I feel like this is too deep for me now, though. Um, yeah, I don't know that the shade actually matches me at this point. Let me kind of off my hand and let's dig in shall we and then this is an nw48 i think it's yeah i think that was the problem to begin with i think i'm closer to an nw45 in general so it's a little bit deep for me but i'm sure one of my friends could use this as a bronzer so i think i'm gonna give her away i do i'm gonna give it away but MAC forever, forever, forever holds a place in my heart. Um, it, it's just been that brand. And I think a lot of black girls can probably relate to that. Black and brown girls. Like back in the day, there wasn't too many other places we could go, y'all. It really wasn't. All right, next up, I have this, or I have, excuse me, I can't speak. I have this Makeup by Mario um, eye priming set. Um, I've used this before in a video. Like I said, I have mixed feelings. I don't really like or dislike or whatever. Um, I, I don't have any strong emotions about this. <laughs> it worked for whenever I made that eye look the other day. Um, it definitely held the look together. I didn't lose the shadows or anything like that. But um, yeah, I don't really have strong emotions about it. I'm definitely gonna keep it and play with it a bit more, but I may revisit this one as well. But this is in deep. And this has two cream shades and then it comes with a setting powder to kind of go in on top of those shades. So yeah, Makeup by Mario. Next up, I have this set from Fenty Beauty. This is Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. It's really pretty, you guys. But I'm gonna be real with y'all. I bought this because it was on sale. <laughs> I had wanted this from like the initial launch from two, three years ago. How long has it been now since Fenty Beauty has been out? Excuse me. It's been a couple of years now. Um, it's really pretty. I just, um, I like the colors together, but I don't know how practical it is. I don't see myself really reaching for these shades, to be honest. So I think I'm gonna pass it on, to be honest with y'all. Um, it's really pretty. I, I love looking at it, but I don't reach for this ever. Um, as you can see, it's virtually untouched. So yeah, I'm gonna move it on. Someone else can get better use out of it. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing pretty good. I've got my little cotton rounds here for my powder foundation. So I'm gonna put my lipsticks back in. Here I have stuck. I can't speak anymore. I'm getting like, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Not tongue tied, but a little bit. Um, I didn't realize how long these take, you guys. This is probably gonna be like a lot of content. I might break it up. House of Lashes, um, these are pretty good. Um, I do find that the band kind of breaks on me from time to time. And I low-key forgot how to put on lashes, you guys. Like, for real. So I'm going to have to do some practice. But, you know, here we go. I'm going to keep these because, you know, I'm not giving away lashes. Um, <clears throat> next up, I have all of my pencils. Um, this is a mixture of, like, eyeliner, lip liner, um, I think I've got some mascaras tucked in here as well, um, but let's just go through them. This is Chestnut from MAC. This is my go-to brown lighter, tried and true. I really love MAC um, lip liners. You can't really go wrong. They work. They stay in place. They do what they need to do. You know, it, it, it gives what it's supposed to give. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll use this forever. You can't talk bad about MAC around me if you, if you haven't realized. <laughs> <laughs> definitely keeping that this is a charlotte tilbury lip 
This is Lip Cheap. Um, I'm not sure what shade this is in. Hollywood Honey. It's like a burnt sort of brown. I like that as well. Kind of a brick sort of shade. A different sort of complement for a brown shade or a nude that I like. So um, I'll definitely keep this as well. All right. I also have this liner. Oh my God. Everything is falling apart on me. So I have this lip definer, I think this is what it's called, from Becca. I also got this because it's on sale. Like I said, Becca is going out of business, so a lot of the products are going to be discounted heavily. This is another option. It's more of like a plum base brown. Um, I like it. It has this like spatula situation on the other end, which, you see this, you guys? Oh, I think this is a sharpener. No, no, it's not. It just popped out. No, this is the sharpener. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not crazy. So that's the sharpener. But this thing I think is supposed to be for like blending the like lip liner in. So you can go like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that. So, I mean, I don't really use it. I don't think it's necessary. You just rub your lips together. But um, this is in the shade mm -mm -mm, Chill. Not in Cynthia Bailey, but chill. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. All right. I think the rest of these, no, I'm lying. I've got a couple more lip liners in here. Let me just grab all of those. Uh, okay, I think these are it. So this is from Jordana. I don't even know where you can find jo Jordana anymore. I used to get it at like Walgreens back in Kentucky. I don't know if they sell it. Really cheap, really affordable, good lip liner, good brown. Can't go wrong. Um, I have no complaints. Creamy, it stays in place. You know, you know, easy to blend out. Well, here we go. It doesn't stay in place, actually. <laughs> you see how these guys aren't moving? I'll leave that here and come back to it. We'll do that as a test. But this is really old, so I might get rid of it. I don't really go for it as much. I'll move that to the side. I also had this KKW liner, Nude 3. Um, it's a brownish, but it's like a cool brown. I don't ever wear cool tone lips ever in life, ever. Um, and it's broken. I'm, I'm definitely tossing that. And then this is Ruby Woo from MAC. This is like my red liner that I use for. I'll use this if I'm doing like a, a coral lip as well as you can see perfect sort of really good red brick is the other red liner i would recommend from mac if you're going to do like a red or bright lip like that but i'm going to try and blend that but as you can see that stays in place y'all oh that jordana goes away charlotte tilbury and my other mac stay oh okay so that jordana has got to go for real y'all see that There are reasons to buy higher end stuff, I definitely think. <laughs> I'll probably do a whole video about like what I splurge on and what I don't. Um, and that's one reason. As you can see, these have not budged. All right, so that's all of my lip liners. I might cut the video after this, y'all. I'm tired. We haven't even gotten to like my complexion or brow products yet. Or the rest of the lip products. Oh my God. Yeah, I think I'll do this in two parts. So this will just be part one. Um, yeah, one, one part for this and then we'll do a whole nother section for my, the rest of my stuff that's over there. So I've got a bunch of liners in here. This is from Mika K. This is also black owned, but I feel like she went out of business. There's somebody that I used to follow here on YouTube, um, Makeup Struggles. If you can find her channel, go watch her videos. I don't think she makes videos anymore, but she was awesome. I used to watch her all the time, talk about indie brands and all this stuff. And she would always mention Nika K. I saw this at a beauty supply, actually. I went to go pick up a wig <laughs> and some glue and I grabbed this at the counter. So if you see it somewhere, definitely go grab it. It's a really pretty pigmented like neon shade. Like I think I paid like $3 for this. You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on the beauty supply makeup, y'all. It, it, it does hit. It does for sure. So I'm keeping that. This is an Oprah liner. Um, it's a felt tip liner, and I picked this one up because look at the size of this pencil. 
and get it out of focus. It's so small, it's so precise. The size of the line is like, y'all see that? So I can make that thicker, but like if I just apply with the tip, you can get that so precise. I find that with felt tips, I kind of need a little bit of like grace when I'm working with them. So this one was good because I can kind of adjust or do what I needed to do. So um, definitely like this, it's a true matte too as well. I don't like the um, shiny black liners on the felt tips. So definitely enjoy this. Um, I don't really, why am I getting this? I don't really reach for it that often to be real with y'all though, but I do like this. Um, so I'm gonna probably get rid of it to be real. Pass it on. I think it's because it's in a gray container. I don't really think of it as a black liner. I think they should do something about that. <laughs> yeah. Are y'all like that? I don't know, it's weird. I also have some Urban Decay liners. These are great, of course. This is probably one of the hero products from the brand. Um, these are never wrong. This is a true blue. There's a blue inspo look I've been wanting to try, but look at that. Yes. But also look at this Nika K. It's giving like the same sort of pigmentation, you know what I mean? So you can definitely go high-low with your, your liners. And then this is just a true black. You know, can't go wrong. And these are in the shade, this is Perversion, this is definitely one of the classics. And then this one is Roxy, Perversion and Roxy, Urban Decay, keeping. Next up, these aren't liners, but I have these um, sky washes. Oh my god, is that an eyelash? Ooh. These sky washes, so you could put these all over your eyelids and kind of blend them out as like a wash of color. Um, I liked them when I first got them. This is like a cool tone sort of brown. The thing is, I think they're dried out now. So I'm gonna just put these here. Yeah, you see that, how it's kind of like crumbling up on me? I think these are kind of done. This one is in the shade Echo. And then this one is in the shade Terra, which means Earth. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of crumbly, as you can see. It's kind of breaking up a bit. So I'm gonna get rid of these because they're old. But I did enjoy them while I had them. I did use these as go-tos. It's a really quick way to just get like a one color eye look, but you don't need these to do that, to be real with y'all. But if you're interested in trying them, I do recommend them. All right, next up, I have a bunch of NYX liners that I picked up recently. Um, this one is probably the best out of the ones I've gotten. Look at that. Look at that. This is in the shade uh, Azure. Definitely keeping matte. I do this under my um, waterline all the time. It's really pretty. Now the rest of these shades, it's a bit debatable. Well, I'm falling apart. Let me get this back together. So I have a bunch of other shades. They're a bit debatable. They're a little bit, you know, finicky. You know, I don't know how I feel about them. I kind of went on a, a crazy spree of just buying NYX liners and I probably shouldn't have in retrospect. I do have a felt tip um, brown liner from NYX. I don't know that I'm gonna keep it though. That's the brown liner. It looks really, really light on my eyes, which I haven't decided if that's a good thing or a bad thing just yet. But um, I'm gonna keep it and play with it some more. But there's that. And then I have my colored ones as well. Okay. So this is the Epic Eyewear Liner Stick, and this is in the shade Pink Spirit. These just don't show up as pigmented as I would like for them to. You see how this is not hitting the same way that that does? And it takes a minute to kind of build it up. Look at that. It's not... I don't want to have to put that much work into liner at all to get an okay payoff. Not even comparable, really. And they move. This is not moving, you see? This is gone. <laughs> This shade, I think, did a little bit better. This is Chill Blue. 
it's okay. But again, it's just not the same sort of pigmentation as that one swipe. Okay, I'll keep that. This one is Frosted Lilac going in. That one's pretty good. Didn't have to work as hard for that one. Can you even see? No. Yeah. So that's Frosted Lilac. I'll keep it. This one is Cosmic Yellow. All right. Put this here. Now, that's a fail. Come on now. I'm still not getting like an even line of pigmentation. Can y'all see what I'm saying? It's still got some translucent parts. It's not opaque. Even when I build it. Duh. Gotta go. Periwinkle Pop, another. Similar sort of thing, I think, as these shades. I'll get that later. But a similar effect, it's kind of hard to... It's doing better than this yellow one for sure, but it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Next up, we have Pure White. Mm -mm. Boo. <laughs> I really wanted to do like the really pretty like graphic liner white look, but I feel like I would need like a liquid almost or to get one from Urban Decay or another brand because it's just not, that shouldn't be that hard to build up and it's still not a true like, you know, solid line. So boo, gotta go. I have a gold liner. And this one is in the shade Gold Plated. These are all NYX liners, by the way. Now this, I don't mind as much. And I feel like I would reach for a gold liner from time to time. And I've seen some like eye looks where people do that as like an accent and it's really pretty. So I'll, I'll keep this. Next up I have, this is Intense Teal. Let's see, I forgot what I thought about this one. Show. Uh -uh. Okay, so it's a pretty color, but like, maybe it needs to be sharpened. I don't know. It's giving me a hard time. All right, so I did that. Let me try and go back in. Still not like the, you know what I'm saying? That's a really pretty color though. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's like a, a royal sort of green. A sea green, but like better, more expensive, you know? <laughs> so I think I'll keep it because I just really like it and I'll, I'll work with it a bit more, but you know. Oh, and then I have two of Pink Spirit for some reason. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm getting rid of both of them. All right, so that's liners. Is it? No. I have this L'Oreal Infallible. I think I got this just as like a free gift from Ulta. It ain't bad. I don't need it, but it ain't bad. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I have these two like eye washes from e.l.f. I thought they were interesting, so I picked them up at Target. I probably shouldn't have. I need to stop doing that. But this is the gold. Can y'all see that? Yeah, it's pretty. It blends into nothing though. And I feel like that was a problem with the that purple one as well. Yeah, so it's pretty initially. It looks very like, you know, nice. Oh, but this one looks a little bit better. It's kind of like a plummy purple though. I can't see myself wearing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass these on as well. And then these were like freebie mascaras. Um, I don't like Maybelline mascaras though. If you know me, I like L'Oreal Voluminous. That's like my go-to tried and true. Um, I do like a couple of the prestige brands, mascaras, but these two are, you know, they're fine. They're fine, it's just not my favorite. And then this is also a lip product. Um, I think this is like a gloss balm, I think, sort of situation. This is from Sephora Collection. I'm gonna just do it like right here. 
if y'all can see that. It's very sheer, um, kind of like a slick texture. It goes on glossy, but it's pretty. I don't reach for it though, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But yeah, y'all, I think that's good for today. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do the rest of my stuff. All of that stuff. Next go around because I'm tired, child. <laughs> this is a lot of work. I didn't realize that this was like, you know, it would take so long. But I definitely enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully this was somewhat entertaining or, you know, whatever the case is. I just wanted to come and just chat with you guys and clean this out. But yeah, um, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you for the next one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Tell your peoples about me. Um, we'll be back. I love y'all. Be blessed. Mwah.